Hello guys, welcome to Talent Battle and today in this video, we are going to check out the latest syllabus and exam pattern for Cognizant. As you all know that Cognizant has started its on-campus hiring for 2025 batch. So this video can be useful for you also. If Cognizant has not entered to your college yet, please wait for some time as in few days Cognizant is coming in most colleges in India. So let's start. Please watch the video till the end and if you have do not subscribe to this YouTube channel, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you do not miss any kind of important update from our channel because Talent Battle provides placement preparation tips and tricks and also we provide you with off-campus hirings. So let's start. To so Cognizant syllabus and exam pattern. This link you will be getting in the description box. If you want to proofread it once again, so you can just click on that link and check out the complete blog. So Cognizant is a global leader with technology and consulting services. As we all know, Cognizant is one of the biggest MNCs in India and most of the students has Cognizant as their dream company because it is the most biggest uh, talent acquisition company which thrive in today's fast paced and competitive environment. So let's start. So first of all, let us check out what is Cognizant providing to all the students which are getting selected for this year. So first of all, there will be higher education, like if you get selected, so Cognizant will also sponsor your education for your, like your higher education, for your masters. Let us suppose now you have completed your UG and you want to go for PG as well and you want to work simultaneously. So Cognizant will also help you in that. They also have one digital honors program which accelerate your career path. But this is only for achievers as there will be some criteria based on your performance. If you perform really well, you can take part in this particular program. And the most important thing, there is no service bond. So you do not have to worry about anything. You do not have any service bond from this company. This time, Cognizant is hiring for these three positions. Let us check out. First is the Gen C next position with the package of 6.75 LPA and designation is program analyst. Next is Gen C Pro. The position is Gen C Pro. The package is 5.4 LPA with designation of program analyst. Next is Gen C. The package is of 4 LPA and the designation is of program analyst training. So these are the three positions. Now let us check out the most important thing that is the hiring process. So as you know, this is an on-campus drive. So all the registration links will be given to you from your college training and placement officer. As I earlier said, if Cognizant has not reached to your college yet, please wait for some time. In the upcoming weeks, Cognizant will be coming to your college. But you must start with your preparation. So there are actually three rounds in this particular drive. The first round is the online assessment round, which contains the communication assessment, which will be an online round. Second round is also an online round. That is the aptitude and technical assessment. And round three is the in-person round where you have to meet the person of Tech Cognizant and you have to sit with her, him or her and you have to give your interview. This will be a technical interview for all the shortlisted students in Gen C Next, Gen C Pro and Gen C category. This is a detailed hiring process. Like it will start with the registration and it will go till the screening. Like your resume will get shortlisted. After your resume gets shortlisted, there will be a communication assessment. Let me zoom my screen. Yes. So there will be a communication assessment that will be round one. And every round comes with an elimination criteria. Like if you are good enough, if your performance is good, then only you will be good getting the second round email. Otherwise, you will get eliminated from the first round only. Hopefully, you will all get your emails and hopefully you will all get selected. But your preparation must be strong. Follow the video till the end. I will also tell you how to prepare for Cognizant easily so that you do not get any kind of confusion. So uh, communication assessment will be followed by the online assessments containing aptitude assessment and technical assessment. This will be a round two. If you get cleared by round two, then you will be getting to the third round that is the offline technical interview. It will be based on three positions. As per your performance in round one and round two, you will be shortlisted into these three positions. First is the Gen C next with the highest package, then Gen C Pro and then Gen C. And if you clear this interview also, you will be getting selected and they will be offering you with letter of intent. This is pretty good and simple uh, Cognizant's uh, 
hiring criteria now let's check out what is the hiring syllabus so as you know the cognizant test is divided into four stages starting with the resume shortlisting so this is your first hurdle as you have to maintain your resume very nicely so you have to add on projects you have to mention your skill set very nicely as per the cognizant demand please read the jd whenever uh, jd is basically the job description so whenever any email of registration is coming to your college you must check out what is the cognizant hiring for and you must exhibit all the skills which ever mentioned in the jd next is the communication assessment approximately it will be of 45 minutes there will be three sections in total first section will be reading and grammar section where candidates are required to read the passages and answer the ai generated question it means there will be a passage which will be read by the ai uh, sorry you have to read and you have to answer the ai generated questions secondly there will be comprehension and listening like here in this section you have to listen a passage by ai like ai will speak a passage you have to listen it very carefully and answer the related question last will be section 3 that will be speaking section you will be given some topics to speak on you have to speak and you must maintain a correct pronunciation vocabulary usage must be correct and you must avoid the fillers this section is a critical section as it assesses your spoken english directly so guys this is very important section so if you feel your communication level is low you must start your preparation today you must try to speak in english more and more and you must try to communicate with your friends and family members in english the communication assessment is also an elimination round here is some syllabus you can go through this for reading and grammar for listening and speaking in reading and grammar you must uh, like know all the basic english language topics like synonyms and antonyms error identification sentence improvement subject verb agreement tenses and articles all the basic things which you are doing since your childhood you must be good on these in listening a uh, ai will dictate a short passage and a short story then you have to answer the questions at the end of the story the speaking part there will be a topic given on the screen you have to think about the topic and then you have to dictate a passage or a story based on that topic so this was the first round moving forward to the second round which is the technical assessment that is the approximately 120 minutes it will be two parts first is the aptitude assessment will also be there secondly there will be the technical assessment so section a will be the coding assessment you will be tested on your coding skills with an emphasis on python data structures functions oops handling and more section 2 will be query database like mysql questions will be asked this section covers all the essential database concepts including ddl dml and sql operators and joins and more like you must be good with your database skills as well section 3 will be mcqs multiple choice questions will come on unix commands shell scripting data warehousing etl concepts and cloud fundamentals so these are some important topics for technical assessment the technical assessment is also an elimination round so this is the complete syllabus of the technical assessment like functions data structures object oriented programming file handling libraries and modules exception handling query and databases sql commands sql operators sql functions clauses joins and their types so there is a lots of things i will give the link in the description box click on this link and check out the complete syllabus and revise accordingly in further there is cognizant quantitative and reasoning aptitude syllabus so here this section is very important for those students those who want to clear their gen c round okay because in gen c section there is most importance of aptitude there is no coding questions as such so there is a complete set of syllabus that is fundamental mathematics number system fractions factors percentages averages means these kind of topics will come then is applied arithmetic in this there will be time work efficiency speed distance time mixtures and delegations partnerships mensuration this kind of topics will come in advanced mathematics there will be permutations combinations probability statistics these kind of topics will come next is logical reasoning analytical reasoning quantitative logic so these all topics are necessary you must practice some question in all the topics so more and more you practice the aptitude it will increase your time management skills also and also it will increase your proficiency with the aptitude problems moving further all the se sections afterwards there will be technical interview yes 
this will be the final step in the concurrent hiring because it will judge it will be on the basis of your set of answering the questions in the technical and aptitude assessment also you will be shortlisted in all the three profiles uh, in one of the three profiles like gen c elevate gen c pro or the gen c profile and here they will ask you deep dive questions of uh, computer fundamentals coding languages data skills and cloud technologies these type of questions will be asked and also your projects will be discussed in this particular step so these were the four hiring steps which you need to clear to get shortlisted and selected in cognizant i hope you all will clear this test now moving further to the important notes of registration so while registering they will ask you to choose two clusters out of the three clusters cluster is basically the test sets of technologies that is demanded by the cognizant so in cluster one there will be java in cluster two there will be python and in cluster three there will be c sharp rest all the technologies will be same like html css javascript sql html cloud cloud fundamentals and java so you have to choose at least two clusters from these two okay and 85 percent of questions in the first cluster if you choose there will be from java then 85 percent will be from python and 85 percent will be from c sharp and sql so you have to choose two clusters but you have to be flexible with the third cluster also because whenever you will be getting selected they are going to give you training and in that training period you have to learn that third technology as well let us suppose today uh, you know java and you know about python but you do not know about c sharp so whenever you will get shortlisted and selected for cognizant at that time they will give you a training in that training period you have to learn the c sharp also like cognizant will help you there will be mentors allotted to you but at that time you have to learn the c sharp also next moving further to the eligibility criteria that is the important thing so as this is for 2025 batch only 2025 batch students can can apply and you can be from all the technologies like uh, all the engineering backgrounds but not from leather technology food technology or fashion technology etc you can be from csc it electronics mechanical civil you can be from these branches next is consistent academic record with minimum of 60% yes you must exhibit at least 60% marks in 10th 12th and diploma students with sending arrears will not be allowed it means if you have any compartments pending you must clear your compartments you do not you, are, you cannot apply if you have any sending arrears next is flexibility to work from any location they can give you any location as per their business demands and this can only be accessed by the indian nationals like you must exhibit your indian uh, citizenship so these are some mandatory documents for registration your resume attached with attached with the latest passport size photograph industry accredited certificates like if you have any industry uh, industry certification like from any big companies you have the certifications you must exhibit those certifications in physical format next is mandatory document for interview all the academic documents including your college id card 10th 12th diploma ugpg mark sheets pan card is mandatory and thirdly your passport or voter id card any one thing is compulsory from these two things so this was all about cognizance hiring criteria syllabus and the eligibility criteria also we have discussed in this video still if you have any doubts and queries you can comment down below or you can just uh, reach out to us on our official website the link will be given to you in the description box you can just click here there is chat with us option as well now comes to the most important thing of this video the second part of this video is your preparation how you will prepare for cognizant and other companies in the easiest manner so here is one option you have to just click here on the start preparation button as soon as you click on start preparation button it will be lent to our page that is complete placement ma preparation master class in this master class we are helping thousands of students to prepare for their placements and prepare for their upcoming uh, off campus also and on campus placements by providing them in depth knowledge of all the topics required for a good place if you purchase this course this is a one time investment to your career journey because each and everything required for a good placement is covered in this course see what you will learn you will learn all the types of aptitudes like quants logical and verbal as we all know that this is the most important thing in cognizant also there is a huge syllabus on this part next you will have data structures and algorithms in all the four languages c c++ java and python first of all there will be foundational lectures on c c++ java and python 
like any one any two languages you can choose or all the four as per your wish you can learn and later on you will also learn data structures and algorithms we will start it from very basic level and we will cover all the advanced topics in this stuff in these languages there is full stack development course there is technical and hr mock interviews will be also be taken aptitude and coding mock tests will also be there mock tests play a very important role as they will improve your time management skills and also you will come to know like which type of questions are going to be asked in your company's hiring test like before your actual test if you give the mock test it will be highly beneficial there will be 50 plus projects overall there will be 50 plus projects if the students are eligible to make at least 6 to 7 projects that's a very good thing like it will be a mixture of mini and major level projects so it will be a very good thing for you as well next is ai ml iot and robotics industry level certification courses will be provided to you and each and every course will come up with a certification you can upload that certification on linkedin and also share it in your resume next there will be 25 plus company specific courses by company specific we mean if you want to prepare for specifically for cognizant so you do not need to complete all the things you can just focus on one company and you can just do all the expected and previous year questions for that particular company there will be recorded sec recorded lectures also and there will be live classes also all the recorded lectures will be there on your dashboard and all the live lectures will also get recorded and will also be shared to you on your dashboard so it's a very comprehensive and very structured plan of preparation and there will be always be mentors with whom you can discuss your doubts and queries there will be separate doubt discussion groups where you can post your your queries anytime there will be competitive coding question also and you can use the coupons as well that is now active so there will be 2000 hours plus of learning content doubt clearing support will be given certificate of every course will be given one on one mock interviews are here and this is trusted by more than 50000 students in the past 10 years all the courses will be from basics to advanced level so that's all so if you want to enroll in this course link will also be given in the description box you can go through it read out the success stories read out this course structure map and what technologies we are going to cover you can also download the syllabus next if you want to clear uh, enroll here from here you can download the syllabus and from here you can click on enroll now there are different validity options you can choose as per your wish and if you want more discounts on this you can just reach out to us i will provide the calling numbers of our mentors just message them for the higher discount i hope you all got to know what is in today's video we discussed about eligibility criteria syllabus and hiring pattern of cognizant if you still have any queries you can reach out to us you can comment on below or you can follow us on instagram you can dm us or you can just whatsapp us our whatsapp numbers are also given below in the description box so meet you in the next video